Andrea and welcome to Food Without Borders. Today we'll be making a small batch of coconut macaroons. Now I really enjoy making small batches of desserts because um, if I make the regular or the large batch, I will inhale it in a day and then I'll be super miserable. I will make people around me miserable. And I thought this is a good concept to share with you guys who struggle just as I do. Now, what's great about this recipe is it's a small amount and it just fixes your sweet tooth and it does not have any processed sugar, which makes this recipe paleo. So let's get started with the ingredients. So folks, for the ingredients, you will need some shredded unsweetened coconut, egg white, some ghee or clarified butter. You can even use coconut oil if you wish. Maple syrup, you could use honey as a sweetener. I have some vanilla bean paste. You can use vanilla extract, some salt. And to garnish, I'm using some uh, pistachios that I have chopped, some lemon zest. Now, if you need to know how to zest a lemon or any kind of citrus, I have a video for that, which I will link in the description box, and some chocolate. And this is bitter chocolate. You could use bittersweet, semi-sweet, whatever floats your boat. What's great about this recipe is if you are a beginner to baking, this is where you can start because it just needs a handful of ingredients and uh, the process is not very many. So this will build up your confidence to baking. In this bowl, I have some egg white that I am going to beat. Now you could use a egg beater or a handheld mixer. I'm just using this because it's just one egg. I mean, how hard can this be? And we are going to beat it until it's uh, lightly foamy. This is done. And to this, I will add all the liquid ingredients, which is the maple syrup. And now I have some ghee or clarified butter. Now I have melted it in the microwave and um, I have just, it's just lukewarm. It can't be hot because if it's hot, it will scramble the eggs and that would be a total disaster. And you'll have to redo the process all again. Now, let me touch it. Yeah, it's perfect. I am going to add it to the egg mixture and to that I will add some vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract and a little bit of salt. Whisk this all together again so that they're all nicely combined. The custard mixture is ready. And to this, we will add our shredded coconut. Give this a mix. I used to devour on um, these coconut macaroons when I was a little girl. My mother used to make them. But the only difference was hers had like a mother load of condensed milk. And you would have like a couple and you would have the perfect sugar rush to bounce around like a circus monkey. And then later when I grew up, I used to make them for myself and boy, they were really, really loaded with calories. And man, these hips don't lie. So I figured since I love it so much, I will have to come up with a recipe of my own that is really, really good. At the same time, um, it's less calorie dense. This is done. I am going to let it sit outside at room temperature for somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour. And I am doing this so that the coconut absorbs all that custardy mixture. And then we will scoop it onto our baking pan and I will show you where to go from there. So folks, we are back. I let this mixture sit on the counter for about 45 minutes and that's the amount of patience I had. And then I have my oven heating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 177 degrees Celsius. I have a baking sheet that I have lined with some non-stick mat. You could use parchment paper. I have also greased it. Now with a small cookie scoop, I am going to scoop this mixture and then scoop it onto the baking mat. And I will repeat this process until um, I run out of the mixture. 
Now, you don't have to use a cookie scoop. You could even use a tablespoon or a teaspoon. I just like it because it evenly divides the mixture and it makes my life easier and I don't have to do any math. I'm placing these cookies at least two inches away from each other because if they do spread, they don't touch each other. So folks, this is all set to go in the oven. My small batch gives me about eight macaroons, six for me and two for the other person. Um, I am going to put this in the oven for somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes. And when we come back, I will show you how to jazz it up a little. So these were in the oven for about 20 minutes. They look divine. I am going to transfer them onto a cooling rack and let them cool for about 30 minutes. So here I have a bowl with some uh, chocolate chips. These are bitter chocolate chips and I am going to melt them. Now, there are two ways to melt them. One, you can melt it in the microwave at a 30 second increment and keep an eye on them every 30 seconds to see um, if they've melted. They just have to melt. You don't need to overheat it because when you do, it will burn and then you will have to redo the process all over again. If you do not wish to use the microwave, you can uh, melt the chocolate in a bain marie or water bath, which just means, sounds complicated, but it's not. In a pot, you can fill it with water just as much that it touches uh, this bowl's bottom and you can set the uh, bowl in the on the pot and now uh, you can add the chocolate and let the water boil and as the water boils you will see that the chocolate will melt one thing that you will need to remember is this bowl needs to be heat resistant or it can handle high heat and two the bottom of this bowl should not be touching the bottom of this pot if it does then your chocolate can burn so i am taking a shortcut because uh, my life is all about shortcut and I am going to zap it in the microwave and when I come back I'll tell you exactly what to do with it. So there are four ways of uh, making it pretty. One, the first one is the happy feet. So I have my chocolate all nicely melted. I am going to dip the bottom of the macaroon into the chocolate and remove the excess chocolate and that's all. There you go. That's the happy feet. Now we will do the happy face. So here, face down, in goes the macaroon. Going to swirl it a little, remove the excess. And then onto this, I will add a little bit of uh, lemon zest. Easter is just around the corner. Spring is also here. So this is like one of my favorite to just zest, put some zest to it. And it just tastes so refreshing. And now we'll do the naughty and nutty. So here, half of it goes in. Dip it in the chopped pistachio here. There you go. And that's another way you can garnish it. And this is the dirty part, the really dirty. Dip the bottom, swirl it, and then remove the excess and then sit it here and with a spoon or a spatula get a little bit of that chocolate and this makes it look really professional and just ooh, look at that oh so pretty and people will think you are like the world's best coconut macaroon maker so we are back for the tasting and while I wait for the chocolate covered ones to solidify, I am going to try one of the plain ones. Mm. They are so good. They're soft on the inside, they're crunchy on the outside, the coconut is perfectly toasted. You guys have to try this recipe, it's so quick and easy just like you saw. Give this recipe a try. I will leave a link to the written version of this recipe in the description box. Please hit subscribe. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.